Hey, Julian. How, how's it going with you? I know it's going great. How about you? I'm doing well. I'm doing well. Hey, I checked out this film yesterday. Yes. You know what? Um, it's amazing. It's because I have never smiled so much in this oh. film, like, like start to the end. It was, uh, I don't awesome. know. It, it was just something that it was just made, this film just made me giddy and laughing the whole, whole time. Same, same. <laughs> <laughs> hey, so, uh, so Julian, for you, for yourself, why did you want to do a film like yesterday? Well, you know, I mean, I love roller coasters. I love fun. I love, I love comedies and stuff. And, you know, it was great to learn from Jennifer Garner and Edgar Ramirez and, like, just to be on set with amazing people. So, so how, how did you actually got the part um, for, for your character? Um, was it Nando? Yeah. Uh, and, yeah. I mean, did you audition what, um, for, for the role? What was, was that, what was that process like for yourself? So, actually, I was on the way to do a work session for a different TV series, right? And on the plane to L.A., my manager emails my mom saying, Hey, uh, Miguel Arteta wants to see Julian for Yes Day, right? He wants to do, like, a work session. And, and, I, and my, I was like, okay. She's like, sure. Like, that's amazing timing. And so, you know, we go and we go to do it, and it's great. But here's the thing. I have to fly back that that day, actually, because I'm in the middle of a show, of a Broadway show, right? And so I've been there for Tuesday. And then the next Monday, I have to fly back out because I'm going to go do a, a test with Jennifer Garner. And, and so, you know, that goes great. And, and the first thing I see when I walk into the door is just this huge, big, fluffy golden retriever lying on the ground. And he's just getting ready for belly pets. Right? He's just upside down. So, you know, I'm petting him, and then Jen walks out of the room, and I'm like, whoa, okay, it's time to be professional, right? And so, and then I walk into the room, and it, we have a great time, and it's awesome, and yeah, that was the audition process. Right after that, I got it. Wow. So, so how did they pitch it to you, um, um, this movie? What, how did they describe it to you? They said, you know, it was, it's a funny, it's a, it's a comedy, um, it's, it's, you know, it's, it's, to, like just to, to describe yesterday, I would say it's just it's funny, it's amazing. It I think it's meant for all audiences, and I think all audiences are gonna love it. So for yourself, what what did you like the most about your character in this film? I think you know Nando's funny, energetic. Uh, he's fun. He loves science, and I think I, I think I really actually like relate to him in a lot of ways. So I, I love that he's he's just he's just up for anything. One of the things that I was kind of fascinated because I I I don't know maybe I'm not a science person I didn't know you could mix chemicals and actually uh, create the foam out of that thing. <laughs> um, I think you actually can. Yeah, yeah, it's it's possible. <laughs> did, did they use movie magic on set, or was that actually real mixing to uh, to create those foam? That was actually real foam. That was like that was real, and and that that was like they they made it out of like this soap, and I think like it was some like like dishwasher soap, but it was like non toxic. It was like not you know not bad for you, and and it was it was actually really really fun. It would get up like over my head, <laughs> and I'm like five feet tall. So <laughs> I know um you're 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 such a young young gen generational person. So I think that. When you were doing those scenes, that must have been um, re really fun. What was it like to run through all that mess? <laughs> you know, I mean, when we first blocked it, we didn't do any of the foam. We just, like, went down the stairs and we did all that stuff. And then when we had to run with the foam, I think we were just, like, in shock. Like, we didn't know what it was going to be. We didn't actually know what color it was going to be. And, right? And so we were just, like, I think we weren't even acting. And we were just like so excited just to be there with foam. I mean, there's who doesn't want to be inside of huge foam? Well, that's a that's a huge um, foam party it, itself. There were a lot of kids on set, wasn't it? Yeah, I think there were over fifty kids. Yeah, there were a lot of kids on set. Wow. 
what was that what was that um environment like with uh, so many kids running wild i think it was kind of like i felt like they were trying to like test me in a way like because because you know i want to go in there and i'll have fun with them but you know you still gotta be professional if you're like you know that like the star of that scene so you still gotta you know be professional but sometimes when they were like moving like cameras and stuff like that I found these two boys who were awesome and I would like we had balloons there and we would just pop them back and forth <laughs> which is really really fun <laughs> <laughs> well I guess I guess a, mo a movie is great it's when uh, when they you know the, the production team allows you to still be a kid on on that production. yeah yeah, it was it was great. Everybody was amazing on the set. Now, obviously, that was one scene where you get to play with the kids, but there's another scene where you get to play with. It looks like a a bunch of adults outdoors. Yeah. What what did they call that scene? Did they call that a water balloon fight? What what did you guys call it? They called it Kablawi, and I because I feel like if you get hit by a water balloon, it's just Kablawi. But yeah, there's there were over 300 extras, and there were 30,000 water balloons, and we used probably like we used most of them. When 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 you actually started the production for that scene, were there actually rules, or did you just you guys just tossed water balloons at each other? There was one rule, and the rule was to have fun. That was the one rule. <laughs> no kidding. So yeah. What, so what what was it like? Um, on that day what, was it just a one day shoot no it was actually a week shoot we shot for one week a whole yeah. week just to do a, a water balloon week. league fight yeah but it was actually like amazing and I actually, I actually I have a really funny story from there so you know, we, you know we're, we're throwing water balloons everywhere and like, I'm on the orange team right and it goes orange blue green red and so right across to me is the green team and a person from there throws their water balloon and I'm throwing over here at the blue team. And so I turn around to grab a water balloon, but she throws it at some like really, really tall guy, but then somehow it still curves down and it hits me right in the head, right? And, and the whole orange team freezes and I'm just like, yes, and it, like kablow, he just got me like more pumped and excited. I'm, I'm amazed no one got hurt on any of these scenes. No, nobody got hurt. Yeah. So, so how, how, how good you ended up with the, your water balloon skills by the end of the week? Um, I think pretty good. I think by next summer, my dad's going to have to watch out because I'm going to be like, I'm going to be like Elf in, in Elf. Be like, <laughs> boom, 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 boom. <laughs> And you know what? 10,000 water balloons is is actually a lot. I, I do have to admit so. So yeah. that's actually amazing. You 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 had so many fun scenes. Um I, I want to address another fun scene was uh, the car wash scene. Oh yeah. Um how did you guys pull that one off? Was it an actual car wash? It was. It was actually in an actual car wash, like a normal car wash, you know. And we actually put the windows down. We had three of the same car there. So we, so we only had three shots to do it. So basically how they shot it, where they put like one camera like outside of the windshield and they put this plastic like, like clear, like see-through box around it. And then like a plastic tarp around the camera. So they don't want to get wet. And then that was to get Jen Edgar shots. And then to get me, Everly and Jenna shots, they put like, the two smaller cameras on the back headrests of the front seats and those were also wrapped in like plastic tarp so that's how they shot it and it was really 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 fun you you, you know one of the things that uh, i always fantasize about is what's it like to go through a car wash with the windows down <laughs> can you yeah. tell me what that was actually like as everything comes in you know it was it was like really shocking and at first it was freezing it was like it was like freezing it was real water obviously they switched the soap out for like non-toxic soap but it was like it was it was amazing and i think halfway through like like the first car wash we were just like we weren't even cold anymore like we were just having fun we we, we i mean again we weren't even acting i think we weren't even acting half of the movie because it was just all fun so, so which which part of the car wash you enjoyed? All, all the water coming in or the blow dry? I actually liked when they were turning, like like those things that turn. Oh yeah, stabbing me in the face. It was actually kind of fun. 
Oh, that is awesome. How, how, how many times a day uh, takes that they actually do on that one? Because uh, obviously in productions, it's, it's not a single take. You guys have to do this over and over again. No, we did all, we did it all day, but we only had three shots that day. So we had to like lark it and really make sure everything worked because if something was down, that would not be good. So we had to like really make sure everything was working. But yeah, we got three shots in a whole day. <laughs> that's that's actually amazing. Out of, out of all your scenes, what was your favorite scene that you got to do? My favorite scene was definitely the roller coaster scene because I mean I love going upside down and you know I love like I just love roller coasters and the tech side of filming that were others uh, amazing that weekend. I mean, to learn from them was a great and they strapped the camera on like the front of the car. They tested it multiple times. So it was safe, but we sat in the front car every time. We were at like seven times, but it was so much fun. It's, it's funny you said the roller coaster because all the stuff I mentioned, normal people can't do, but you could go to a roller coaster anytime, right? Yeah, yeah, you can, I mean, not during COVID, but you can go to a roller coaster, you know, any normal time, and just have fun. That is true, that is true. Tell, tell us about the chemistry with this on-screen family. Did you guys have to do something together before production actually started? Um, actually, so Jen organized a whole, like, meet and greet for the cast, so, so we went to build a bear and, you know, we made our own bears. I actually have mine. Oh, right here. This is mine. <laughs> and, you know, actually a fun little, yeah, it's like kind of like Darth Vader. But um, this fun little fact, this is actually the headband I wore in Kablaoui. So that was pretty cool. <laughs> but um, yeah, yeah, we went to build a bear and we had a really, really great time. You know, um, Jen, Jen and Edgar are, are both great, great actors, and they're great. They're great people in real life. What, what, what was the, some of the stuff that you you learned from them, from these uh, veteran actors? Well, I mean, you know, Edgar told me like this, this, this great, great, um, like tip, and he, and so like you know, in like in the beginning of the shoot, I would kind of like if I messed up a line. Or if I, you know, got it wrong, I would, like, beat myself up about it. I'd get really angry at myself. And he told me one day, you know, you can just take your time and take a deep breath. You can just close your eyes and just go back into the scene. And I was like, really? I mean, there's, like, 100 people around, like, waiting for me. He said, yeah, but all those 100 people around are here for you. So you can just take a breath. And it was amazing to hear that from an amazing, accomplished after and that was just that was great and what about with J jen obviously she got you a bear <laughs> yeah she got me there and i mean jen is so loving caring kind and i mean she brings all those qualities into every situation yeah and um and could you talk about your on-screen uh, siblings that uh, that you that you actually play with um for for this film how how great were they they were amazing i mean jenna and everly they were they were great and so kind and funny and actually it was it was great to have like like two kids who were like around my age because you know sometimes on set you only have grown ups but like with two kids around my age you know you can like like relate to them and and talk about the same stuff which was great to have. That's that's pretty awesome, yeah. and uh, and for for yourself does comedy come easy to to you because. It, it looked easy, but, but a lot of people say comedies is hard. I mean, I love comedy, and it, it kind of did come easy, you know. I mean, nothing ever really comes easy, but I, I think comedy is one of, like, one of my, one of my, one of my natural, um, one of my, what, what, what word? Ah, strengths. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Now you mentioned at the beginning of this interview that uh, you you were you were doing what Broadway plays or plays plays in general. How was the transition into something from a play to like a film like this for for yourself? Well, I mean, you know, theater's like all big and like you know you don't really have you with your acting you can just go fun and big and singing and and for a screen you have to like take it down because that's too much on a big screen. So you gotta like. You know, like I had to like teach myself how to bring my emotions and acting down to a certain level. Do you have a preference? Do you like theater more, or do you like to be in front of a camera? You know, I mean, I love everything. I I really love everything. I would like to do 
Broadway and and movies for like the rest of my life. So both. So so how how does it feel for you that yes day it's going to come come on on the Netflix pretty soon for yourself? I mean Netflix is big. <laughs> yeah yeah I am like so excited and and amazed and shocked and I just I I'm so grateful that I get to do this stuff. You know. <laughs> That's terrific. Well, Julian, let me wrap it up with one more question. I know I've taken a lot of your your time already, but um, obviously we're we're talking, you know, via Zoom right right now. I I would have loved to meet you because I I could tell you have so much uh, fun energy, um, <laughs> probably in person. But how are you staying creative and sane during this whole time? Well, you know, I mean, I basically. I, I wear my mask and I go down to like the skate park. We live right near Riverside Park. So the, there's a really, really big skate park down there. And I do trick scootering. So I go down there and I just get my wiggles out, as I like to call them. <laughs> but uh, yeah, yeah. You know, I, I, I actually, I've been recording a, um, a new animated series called Alma's Way. And it's, it's really, really fun. It's, it's about um, Sonia Mazzano and her life. As a kid, she she actually she plays um, uh, Maria on Sesame Street, and it's basically her life growing up, and and it's actually kind of cool because you know I live right near where she used to you know grow up, which is it's just cool to do. Yeah, wow. don't do yes, it's really really fun. That that does sound actually pretty fun. Well, I'm glad you're staying active during all this whole <laughs> time, and can't, you know what, Jalen, I can't wait to see another movie, maybe. Maybe Yes Day 2, right? Yes! I re- I've i been hoping for Yes Day 2. I really, really want a Yes Day 2. But but before I let you go, because, mm-hmm. because of the theme of Yes Day is about your parents making you um, saying yes to everything you want to do. For you personally, if you could make your parents agree to Yes Day, what adventure would you try to drag them on to? You know, I would, I would love to like go to a Green Day concert because they're my favorite band. Um, I love ramen, so ordering ramen from my favorite ramen restaurant. Um, definitely doing a movie marathon with my parents. Um, singing with Kelly Clarkson. I mean, I love Kelly Clarkson; she's amazing. Um, you know, surfing in France. I've actually never been to Europe, but that would be an amazing adventure. Um, and I actually, I'm a big Lego fanatic, so I love Lego. So definitely going to Lego Land. Wow, <laughs> that, yeah. that, that would be some yes day. Well, hey, yeah. Julian, thank you very much for uh, speaking thank with you. me. This is, this is a pleasure. You know what? I, I, can't, I can't wait for your, your next project and we get to uh, talk about it again. Yeah, that'd be, that'd be great. That'd be awesome. Awesome. Thank hey, you thank so you. Much. Not a problem. Bye now. Bye. <laughs>